Hello everybody. So today I would like to talk about the communication between different devices and uh, automation or substation or even ventilation automation or different kind of products where the engineers have you have need to connect different devices that mean for example some some PLC should be connected to the SCADA system or to connect it to another device it's or substation should be connected to the relay protection equipment it's in many many applications you you need to to be sure that everything communicates between those devices correctly and many many times engineers should have converters from RS232 to fiber optics or from RS232 to RS485 and connect as a spy to see what's happening between those devices to look how they communicating what their problems is how the request coming and what device responds to another side so in that way we think how to reduce cables and how to make it more simple than it was before. And today I would like to introduce you our latest product. It's coming in a box like this. It's called Da Vinci. So let's open the box and we will see what's inside. So that when I open the box I see the this converter as a product analyzer and the product analyzer what we called Da Vinci. You can see it looks a little bit different, round, and it's built especially for, for engineers who are working with different communication equipment. Uh, actually, the metal, the, the case is metal, aluminum, and here we have the black one. We also have uh, original aluminum. So you can choose our black one or original aluminum and we created it called Da Vinci and it looks like Vitruvio signed and it has one fiber optical channel you can see here also have here RS232 channel and RS485 and also once again in another, another part also we have here power power supplies it is USB power supply and external power supply so what this device actually doing here we have as a mirrored two sides one called side A another called side B on the side A we have we have I will try to show you we have fiber optical channel RS232 channel RS485 channel and the same on another side so we can connect this device to the computer and in the computer we will find two serial communication port as normal USB to RS232 adapter what actually many many times you using in your applications but in that way you actually will have possibility to connect fiber optical device to your computer directly RS232 device or even RS485 device so that means normally you should have additional converters to connect to the computer or have already USB to RS485 or to the fiber optic so in that way you actually will have everything inside one box another thing that is the same on both sides as I mentioned and you can connect into between those two devices and listen what is going over those communication ports. That means you can see what one device requests and another device responds. And you can see this on the, your computer. In any software what you have, it's starting with normal uh, Microsoft terminal client and also it can be additional software what you can do by yourself or you can find to buy. So one more thing that um, we have here not only USB but also external power supply. By that external power supply you can connect equipment from 9 to 34 volts. It doesn't really matter AC or DC do you connect here. And 
the polarity is not a problem at all. Uh, one more thing with this device that you also can use as a converter from a fiber optical channel to RS232 RS or to RS485. So actually, or any of possible uh, converters you can use. Also you can use as from RS485 to RS485 is also possible. So one more thing that's many cases when you're connecting to RS232 device it's coming to be problem when you have DC, DTE or DCE equipment. And we solve this problem because it's very easy to switch from uh, RX to TX and cross it. So that you're just pressing this one button and that automatically converting uh, signals. Also you can only supply right, by the USB. It's also possible to use and it depends on what, what application do you have and what the possible power supply do you have. So let's see what we have additionally in the, in the, in the package. In the package I open it this and here I find regular computer LAN cable, mini USB to USB, one more LAN cable, fiber optical, duplex cable, multi-mode, then and here I have a lot of different adapters. You can see it, so let's look inside what it is. So, first of all I have here external power supply, so can I plug here and, and use any of external power supply as I mentioned from 9 to 34 volts AC or DC. Another way that I'm using this uh, computer line cable connecting to the RS232 port as you can see here and on another side I can use also RS4, RS485 but if I need DB9 as usually then I connecting this and I have DB9 female but this I can easy create this to the DB9 male by this mini ginger changer also if I need I can do from this a DB25 as you can see there is female and I can make it very easy to mail as I mentioned that with one this button you can switch from DTE to DCE equipment it's just a pressing one button so when Everything is the same for both channels as you can see just I use few of, of those converters I just put it back one second so that is all possible things one more thing that we here we have small external USB power supply you can also use not only for this to supply this device you can also use in your project to to charge your mobile phone or any USB devices 5 watts on the 5 volts power supply so how I can use it <coughs> sorry so that putting here mini USB and putting here to the external power supply for different countries and different regions depending on the what is the network there we are adapting this device external power supply so you can see that I can use as a external power supply for the DaVinci or I can put this into the computer So also in the package we have this RS485 adapters 
just you need to put cable here your cable and that you're connecting here you already have a b and ground connectors so as i mentioned we created different designs look different and the reason was because it's more easy to screw fiber optical channel because in many times this uh, fiber optical channels is very close to each other and then is with big finger it's not so easy to put it on here it's it's more easy because you have more space to do this so oh one more thing i i I would like to say about the fiber optical channel. Here we have additional one button which let you switch to the light from the light off mode on the fiber optical channel to the light on mode. That you also can connect different devices which one side can work on the light on mode, another can work on the light off mode. So it's it's very easy to change those modes with one click of the button. No additional software is needed, just uh, uh, from the XP and upper Windows le uh, operating systems it's normally finding by itself the, the drivers but you also can find those drivers on the web page www.the-vinci.com so we are already pre-ordering your requests and we will deliver as soon as it's possible so please ask any questions or pre-order this device. Thank you.